Question 7. Open the 7 label word processing document. Alright, create a mail merge document to create labels for the athletes with the following specifications. So before we start that, let's just go to the mail merge tab, mailings, we can probably switch that off for now. Start mail merge. Now what should we do? You'll see with mail merge, we always start here in the start mail merge group and finish in the finish group. Imagine that. Alright, let's see. So first instruction. Um, we need to create labels for the athletes and we need to use the tower label with a product number tower w108 mailing label right let's go choose that so it's start mail merge labels now if you use this labels it doesn't actually give you all the options you need so it's extremely important to use the mail merge labels option and then we need to go choose tower w108 okay you'll see what it did is it automatically entered a, or a put a table on my page now i can see that clearly because i always leave my view grid lines on but if you didn't this is what you would see um, it doesn't look like there is any difference to the page but it actually inserted a table so if you do this just click somewhere you'll see the table tools are available and then you can go switch on the view grid lines option next up use the labels worksheet of the seven data file found in your examination folder as the data source of the mail merge so mailings select recipients use an existing list seven data and the labels worksheet now you'll see um, automatically word entered these extra fields over here called next record now please leave that over there that's extremely important unless you want one page of labels per person where the whole page is only that person's name because that's what happens if you re remove this next record display only the athletes that won gold medals all right so to do that we need to go to edit recipient list and let's go see medal there you go easy we can just choose gold the label should look like the example below and then it shows us what we need on the label let's go try that so this will be merge fields that we're inserting name I'm just gonna preview okay yes it has the surname included enter and then it had the date of birth and then it had the event right yes that looks correct now the problem is I want all of these labels to actually have detail of an athlete on them so to do that I need to go choose update labels there you go now if you did that you got all of your marks well close to all of it and um, you still need to merge it I just wanted to show you they didn't clearly specify but if they wanted you to actually vertically align it on each label you would have had to gone there it, for that one it doesn't update if you just click on update labels you had to do it on the whole table all right and then lastly complete the mail merge and save the merge document as seven labels merged so the thing is if I save now you'll see it actually gives me an error so you need to go file save as and actually at least save this one that you've already done I'm going to save it as labels 2 um, you always need to have the one that has the link um, between your actual template and the data source this linked one also needs to be saved and now I can finish and merge it and this one that is merged and you'll see is not linked to any data source because none of these are available this one I can go save as seven labels merged okay 7.2 open the seven bonus spreadsheet and work in the net worth 
worksheet. Okay, so there's a bonus and there's net worth we need to work over here. An athlete's net worth is determined by the following. The amount obtained for his or her position in column B. Use the information in the bonus worksheet to determine the amount. Oh, amount, not amount. Um, let's quickly go see. So an athlete's net worth is determined by the amount obtained for his or her position in column B. Use the information in the bonus worksheet. Okay, so the position in column B and we need to use this or we'll go determine their worth here. Oh, there you go. One, two, three, and there is the worth. All right. And then the amount if he or she qualifies for a bonus in column C, use the bonus worksheet to determine the bonus. Okay. So if they determine, if they qualify for a bonus, if they don't, um, and then that's the, those are the amounts they should get. Right, make use of a combination of functions and insert a formula in cell um, D3 to determine an athlete's net worth. Copy the formula down to other cells in column D. Right, that one um, is a whole 11 marks, so we really need to try get this one right. So I'll show it to you in two steps because you don't have to do it in one step, that's a bit difficult. So the first thing I want to do is I want to determine this person's position and the value. So to do that, I need to look up this number. I've got a number over here and they've given me a little look up table. So that immediately tells me it's going to be a lookup function. What kind of lookup function? I'm going to look it up in a vertical. My data that I'm looking up is vertical. So it's going to be a V lookup. And whatever's in the first column here, that is what is what I'm going to look up over here. So it looks like this. V lookup of the position field in this table and the table should always be made, um, should always be uh, absolute cell referencing so that it cannot move down, comma, which columns answer do we want? We want the athlete's net worth, so that's money, right? So that's column C, so the column index number will be three, it's the third column for which we want the answer. And lastly, range lookup, do we want an exact match or an approximate match? We want an exact match. Now, um, you'll see range lookup is in square brackets. So um, you can leave it out. If you're unsure whether to choose true or false, rather leave it out because in this case, it had to be false or you had to leave it empty. Um, if you had said true, you actually lose a mark because we're not looking up in intervals. We're looking for an exact match. All right. And then um, the amount with if they get a bonus. So I'm also looking up yes or no. And the answer this time or the direction in which I'm looking it up is horizontal. So this is an H lookup. So let's go do that. H lookup of this lookup value in this table over here and we want the second row's answers and we also don't want approximate matches. Before I forget I need to make this absolute or make it absolute cell referencing. There you go. And if we then copy this down for everyone we can then complete this um, assignment and just add those two amounts together. So there's one or two things I want to point out. Um, you could have used ifs for this. You're more than welcome. But the thing is you have to um, refer to the original data because this is the worksheet that they told you to use. So you have to use these values. If you really wanted to copy this to the other um, worksheet, you could go and copy it. But then you should at least then link it. Where is that? Paste link. So that if the value on this side changes, the value on this side would then also change. Then I don't think they could possibly um, penalize you for doing it. But this is the better way of doing it rather than just pasting it. And then you can just remove these little zeros. Don't know where they come from. Anyway, um, it's better to just do it on the worksheet that they gave you. Number one. Number two, um, you can't do the VLOOKUP and the HLOOKUP underneath each other 
because then you wouldn't be able to do this and copy it down for everyone so always if you if you use building blocks to do a function please do them in the same row as the original data so that you can copy down a rows content and it will still work for all the different cells right hope that helped <laughs>